Hello everyone, it's Persian Doll Tarot. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a money reading for the collective Aries. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Take what resonates and leave the rest for the best experience. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Okay, what do we have for the collective Aries? Ooh, you took your power back. You're standing in your confidence. You could be gaining your zest for life back after choosing yourself. You could be moving on from something, releasing pain, releasing limiting beliefs about yourself, taking your power back. You're very focused on your independence. You're determined to gain your confidence back. You're very happy, determined to be passionate about life again. After maybe a conflict, you are avoiding conflict, respecting differences, agreeing to disagree. You're restoring hope, the star card. This also symbolizes power, money, success. But you're restoring hope. This is a good omen. You're rejuvenating yourself. So some of you are healing. Others of you are focused on self-love. Some of you are avoiding conflict with people. We've been getting this for months. And you're entering into a very calm phase in your life. So right now you could be restoring hope or renewing your mind preparing for this and you could also be going through a spiritual awakening some of you my hair is like always in my face okay let's see so tell us more about this new beginning for aries how are they going to restore hope you're working hard you're diligent you're investing in yourself in your knowledge as well you're gaining mastery over yourself. You're going to celebrate something, four of wands. So you're going to celebrate a victory that has to do with their foundation. This could be many things, but it could be marriage, buying a new house, celebrating buying this new house, you know, support, foundation. But in the reverse, it symbolizes that you're going to celebrate, you're going to be happy because obviously you're going to achieve something, but... There's conflict at home, meaning there's a lack of support. People are, may not be that happy for you or you have conflict with other people. So that could kind of put a damper on things. Ooh, there's a wealthy man here. This could be your energy as well. This is somebody who's a leader, somebody who's generous, prosperous, abundant. Spirit could want you to... This person is also very empathetic and tolerant emotionally, very supportive. This could even be your energy, Aries. You could have a water moon. But it looks like this celebration has to do with a lot of money, a lot of security. The strength card showed up sideways. You're very passionate, you're very powerful, you're very focused, right? You're focused on your power, controlling yourself. You could be learning something, building something. Some of you could be working with others as a team, like collaborating, learning, or just implementing what you've learned. The Three of Pentacles. It could. This could be about a creative opportunity, or you're getting like, lots of intuitive messages and for others of you this could be a water sign around you it could even be an earth sign that really loves you but i do feel for the most of you it's the other options creative opportunity intuitive messages you're developing yourself sometimes you feel uninspired because you could be a perfectionist but if that's not the case you're just working on mastering yourself you're developing yourself, Aries. Ooh, judgment, rebirth, entering into a new phase. Some of you are awakening into your, your calling or what you want to do. You're entering into a new phase. Spirit wants you to visualize and imagine more. Follow your heart. 
Be more creative. Sometimes you feel very overwhelmed and you want to protect yourself because you don't trust people or you faced a lot of challenges, but don't give up. Spirit says if you're exhausted right now, if you want to give up, if you're feeling like your confidence is destroyed, Spirit wants you to keep going. There is so, some of you have past resentments with people that you're avoiding conflict from. Or maybe you want to forgive them or they want to reconcile with you. Spirit says don't feel like you have to tolerate these people just because they're family or they're a real marriage partner. You don't have to feel bonded to people. You don't have to conform to society, the Hierophant. The energy of the unexpected. You're taking your power back the magician, you're the alchemist, you're creating your own reality, you're manifesting something, and you're using all your power, all your will to do this. And this is also gaining, you're gaining confidence doing this as well. Sorry, there's like something in my left eye. Oh, please like this video as well. Thank you for that. So you are manifesting something. Oh my goodness. You're going to celebrate with friends, community, something that has to do with, it could be multiple things like a celebration of a engagement, creative op uh, opportunity that you, you could have achieved something that you're celebrating with others, but this is a happy event, very positive this could be a celebration with friends community or family it could be anybody happiness is on the horizon good times are on the horizon we have the four of wands celebration happiness joy and then we have the three of cups happiness celebration positivity friendship collaboration, community. <gasps> and then we have the wheel of fortune. You could be breaking cycles. It showed up in the reverse. You're breaking cycles. Some people around you could be resisting change, but the wheel is turning. And some of you are breaking cycles. You're breaking cycles. You see like toxicity. You're av avoiding the conflict, but you're not like ignoring it and you actually want to change this but the people are resisting change and you can't control other people it's too much for you to bear it's too many burdens for you you're over committed you lacked balance and it was overwhelming you don't have to be responsible for people just because they're family just because it's a parent you don't have you're not their parent it is unhealthy for a child to have to parent their parent this is not healthy this is toxic and you could be breaking that cycle by choosing to focus on yourself you you're not put on this earth to parent your parent you actually don't owe them anything if they have always traumatized you i mean they chose to bring you into this earth you don't have control over these people. You don't have control, but you do have control over what you choose to do. And I do feel like some of you are breaking that cycle. And I want to say that you're not alone. And I know it's not easy. And I know that you tried everything else before you got to this point. You've done it all. You've carried the whole burden of generations of other people's, it could be a boss, it could be a, a partner. It's too much stress for one person. It burns you out. You could have just lost it. You could have just said, I'm done. I'm done with this. You're releasing limiting beliefs. You're releasing the inner critic. This is what happens. When you love yourself, you choose to accept it and you gain freedom, mental freedom. Swords symbolize the mind. You were trapped and stuck due to this, whatever this is. It could have been people pleasing. It could have been 
putting other people first. It could have been allowing energy vampires to throw your energy off. You are human. You know, you're human. You're not a robot. You're not going to always be able to control your feelings, your thoughts. You know, you shouldn't have to overly stress yourself out to protect yourself against people that are just downright toxic and have really nothing much of a value to offer you. It's unfair. These people lack accountability. They try to use guilt to punish you. It's a dishonest form of manipulation, of gaslighting, of relating it's not normal and it's not healthy and people are just now starting to wake up to this and deciding to break the cycle you're completing something you're going to be victorious you're going to finally arrive you're going to complete an entire cycle that's going to bring you fulfillment you're going to celebrate life you're going to be whole again this is the thing that people don't understand the the right decisions could bring a lot of pain like you could be grieving and mourning the relationship you never really had, but you deserved, but you never had, you know, <gasps> your wishes are going to come true. This is what happens when you master the lessons in life. This is what happens when you choose to love yourself, when you decide to heal, when you decide to feel the pain and then allow it to heal and let it go. This is what happens when, when a whole generation continues to pass down trauma and you finally choose to heal this and break that cycle. You're going to feel so happy, so successful, so much joy, optimism. And the coolest thing about this is it's not just for you. This is a completion of a cycle that's going to benefit the whole world. Your whole tri your whole generation of family your entire bloodline your dead relatives are turning in their graves celebrating for joy because you know energy can't be destroyed right so people who are dead are not actually dead when i started meditating an hour a day every morning wow i'll get to this in a bit i i so when you meditate you tap into divine um divine like you tap into divine knowledge, you tap into infinite knowledge, you tap into the all that is of information, the Google of the earth, when you go within you, that's why they say all the answers are within you. When I did that, there was a moment when I just knew, you don't need evidence, you just know that you're connected to everything. And in that moment, I knew that if people were to die, even in my family, that I would be fine because they're not actually dead. I know that's a weird thing, but I realized this during a meditation because I was detached emotionally. My brain was more balanced. That's what meditation does. It balances the brain. But if it's done too much, it becomes overly feminine, dominant, which is not actually healthy. It makes you a little Dululu in a negative way where you just spiritually bypass your whole life. But anyway, you're going to be victorious. You're going to win. You're going to be publicly recognized. And this is going to be public in real life. This isn't dead people clapping, although that's also happening. You could see cardinals sometimes have dreams about relatives that are very happy about your progress. Oh, <gasps> the sun. Your hard work is paying off. Success, all is well. Positivity, pleasure, happiness, abundance, joy. Sometimes you're just so tired. You're overwhelmed. You get defensive. You have to trust. You don't have that many people. You could have one or two people around you that are like ride or die, but generally you're doing this alone. And it can be a struggle. It can be overwhelming, Aries. But you're almost there. You're almost at the completion, okay? I'm just going to ignore the relationship cards. Because <laughs> I know you guys don't want a relationship reading right now. It's 
some of you could be a little bit frustrated about a delay. There's a change, a transformation, the death card. You're inspired. You have limitless potential. You're very excited about exploring your freedom. So you could even find out about something. Hold on one second. Right now, a lot of you are doing shadow work. You're releasing limiting beliefs. You're questioning your limiting thoughts, your beliefs. You're actually doing a lot of inner work. Some of you could even be realizing that sometimes you misunderstand and misinterpret other people's motives, what they do or say because of your own misinterpretation or insecurities. You're choosing to love yourself. Some of you after a, maybe you broke up with a business partner. This could be a marriage or a relationship with anyone. Someone you don't trust. The communication is broken. You're choosing to love yourself. Ooh, introspection, the hermit card. So you're integrating what you've learned. You're going within, meditating, you soul searching. You would, some of you are being in solitude at this time. The high priestess, you're withdrawing from others or some of you could realize that you need to withdraw from others. There is a delay or there's resistance to something you're creating. The hermit actually reduces to a three, which is about communication. Some of you could be stalling or resisting communicating with someone. That's why you're, you keep getting hermit, hermit, solitude. So you're focusing on your own goals and you're aligning yourself vibrationally, internally. My dog's sleeping on my feet. It feels so cute. So you're taking your power back. You're making a lot of moves. You will be victorious. You're going to use your will to overcome something. What is the final outcome for the collective airy spirit? So it's only up from here. You're recovering, regenerating. Some of you are healing yourself, made a head of a heart decision. You, you're going to gain a lot of mental clarity. Final outcome. <gasps> Final outcome is Ten of Pentacles, Aries, but the dark side of wealth, meaning you're going to have a lot of money, long-term success, contribution, but there's going to be conflict with family. Any other messages for Aries? This might cause you some... This might actually give you a lot of clarity or make you feel like maybe maybe it wasn't worth all that investment being wealthy and rich. Maybe I mean, it makes a lot of sense because when you come into a lot of money, the people around you change and then it sucks because you were once in a great relationship with them and now they're jealous, envious, miserable. So that makes a lot of sense. But a new beginning, financial abundance. You're taking care of yourself. You're loving yourself. You're going to realize that, that you have to love yourself. That you can't be codependent amongst toxic people or amongst anyone. That you really have to live for yourself. That maybe society got it all backwards. You know, we born alone, we die alone. Getting married is absolutely beautiful. I do not regret it. I think it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. But I think it's important to realize that we're all still going to be alone and die alone. So we have to love ourselves and be less codependent. I think even myself, I'm a little too co I'm not codependent, but I can be more independent. When I meditate, I'm usually a little bit better, but when I meditate consistently. But some of you are choosing to realize that you're your real own family. That family is more than just who you're related to. Family is who, who's been there for you through ups and downs, who's been consistent, who's never put you down, who doesn't criticize you, 
Ooh, it takes accountability. Yeah, we got another indication of you choosing to love yourself. This is also about harmony in your partnership. This could be about a deep love you and your partner have. Balance, home, responsibility, number six. This could also be about like a choice you have between two different paths in your life or the strength of you and your partner together. Power couple vibes. So you're going to have a lot of opportunities, a lot of choices. You could be visualizing, manifesting more things in the near future, Aries. So let me move on to an Oracle deck. I had some caffeine just now, so I'm a little too wired. So I'm doing what I can to calm down. Okay, let's do, I've been doing the Kipper deck a lot. Let me pull some cards from Madame and Dora's fortune cards. You guys like this card. You guys like this deck. Okay, universe, angels, spirits, and guides. What messages do we have for the collective Aries that are going to watch this video. Don't forget to take what resonates and leave the rest for the best experience. Revelry and indulgence. Unseen forces watch over you. Emotions are at their peak. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water. Beware who you trust. The wolf. There's a wolf in sheep's clothing. It could be a water sign. Doesn't have to be, but somebody's emotions are at their peak or it's a water sign. Choose your words carefully. Words are swords. Honor and good luck. I did have a feeling we were going to pull this, and we rarely do, to be honest. We don't pull that card every day. Forces beyond your control intervene. And if you see the way that card flew out, if you saw the way that card flew out, you believe me. <laughs> Let's see. We have utilize logic, reason, and common sense, earth. You are destined to succeed. The talisman. Wow, you guys, we have honor and good luck. You are destined to succeed. Your secrets are safe. Serendipity. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. Be meticulous and patient. The nature, the forces of nature favor you. I'll pull one more and then two more and then I'll move on to another deck because I'm feeling it today. A sly and subtle approach is needed. You have to be slick. True love and fidelity. What a beautiful card. Okay, I know what I'm going to pull next. I'm going to pull some energy oracle cards. This will give us some deeper insights into what you can expect for the collective Aries, universe, angels, spirits, and guides. What is the final message, the most important message for the collective Aries that has to do with money, career, and finances for the collective Aries that are going to watch this video. Healer of the ages. And then we got deceit. The sun reversed. Angel of balance reversed. 
Walking away upright, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, seventh chakra. Okay, let me pull one more just to make this even. First chakra, wow. Some of you need to balance your chakras, do some yoga, meditation, mantras, breathing, wear different colors, eat color, different color foods. Let's see. I am intrigued, okay? Let's see. I genuinely don't know what to expect. This is a newer deck, so just give me one moment. Thank you for your patience. So this upright brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of divine consciousness pours from his hand and heart flowing to you with love and a powerful healing intention. This entity is with you now, bringing resolution to physical, mental, and emotional ills. Hallelujah! Helping to unblock stuck energy and revitalize your life force. You may have felt this strong presence recently, or you may just be opening to the wonderful sensations now. Wow, Aries. Like this video to claim this healing. That's beautiful. Let's see, we have deceit. I told you there's somebody around you or a group of people around you or just in your energetic field that are deceitful. Let's find out more. Everyone loves a deceptive person. I'm just kidding. Okay, so this card upright comes as a warning that there may be some deception going on in your life. The person hiding behind the curtain is likely someone you know or deal with, either personally or professionally. Is it a YouTuber? I'm just kidding. The duplicity could be regarding a personal issue, like someone spreading rumors or disrespecting you to others. Oh, I've already known they're doing that. Or if it could be a business matter where details are being hidden or even manipulated. Oh, yeah. Be aware of what is going on in your life. The man behind the curtain is holding a bag of something valuable. So watch your money and your good name. And make sure you have all the information you need to keep things honest and safe. A deeper layer of meaning may be that the deception is actually coming from within. Is there something that you're lying to yourself about? The plot thickens. In this case, the bag of valuables may be holding things like self-esteem, happiness, and even leisure time. Whether it's about your life or yourself, remember that the universe has a hard time sending you honoring experiences if your energy is shrouded in self-deceit. The sun reversed. Somebody is healing for sure. Good for you. So we have the sun card in the reverse position. A creative project may be blocked at this time, or you could be feeling your own creativity <laughs> is being stifled in some way. These challenges could be imposed from outer sources, or they could be from within. Are you standing in your own way, stopping self-expression out of fear or self-doubt? If so, it's time to let go of fear and be willing to take a risk. Some of you could be depressed, reclaim your power and take emotional control. Stop focusing on the clouds like the sun, the light of your soul shines no matter what difficulty or darkness may be clouding the horizon. Your power and light are always present, able to bring healing and renewal through strong, self-directed choices in any situation. So let go of the doubt. Let your creativity come forth and know that you deserve to shine. You can wear yellow, meditate on the sacral, solar plexus, I believe. Healer of balance, 48. I'm getting exhausted, I'm not going to lie. Hit that like button to boost my energy. In this position, the angel of balance comes with a loving warning that something may be seriously out of proportion in your life. It could be an important emotional component 
such as a lack of self-acceptance or self-care. When you put yourself last, the universe will do the same thing. Reaching, Receiving this card reversed can be a warning of lost energy, calling you to relax more, sleep more, or drink more water. You've been working too much or too obsessed with money or relationships. Spirit wants you to meditate and create a more balanced and censored life. So obviously walking away is about walking away, having a walk away. Fifth chakra is about your throat, communication, speaking the truth. Seventh chakra, I believe. It looks like it could be the third eye, but I don't remember. And then we have the root chakra. It could have also been the crown, but either way, this is about balance. So honestly, this seems like a very accurate oracle reading because we literally got the same message over and over again. Lots of you need to balance yourself, take care of yourself, love yourself. And a lot of you are doing that. But I guess spirit wants the majority of you to do Okay, Aries, I am pretty tired, so I'm going to, I will leave this reading here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.